the home invaders heading your way with the warmer weather. Highly resilient termites causing millions of dollars damage are on the march. But as Linda Kincaid reports, they're not the only pests experts are warning to watch out for. This time of the year, general pests and termites are uh, definitely on the increase. Now it's pretty much off the scale. It is. That's a massive breeding. Termites all through Australia, they're quite uh, endemic. These termites are eating entire homes and they're on the move. Undetected, how damaging can they be? They can uh, do a quite a lot of damage through that six month period. Of all the pests, termites are the worst home invader. There's 350 species, on average infesting one in five homes. Damage bills that termites cause can add up to the tens of thousands of dollars very quickly. Fun, fun. Beagles are predominantly trained in explosive and narcotics detection, but their powerful sense of smell is also deployed to sniff out termites. How successful is he normally? Yeah, look, Buster's um, is 97% successful. Now, the normal pest control is about 70%. His handler, Steve Olver from Bugger Off, also uses traditional tools like a tapping stick. So we're just listening for any hollow pieces and, and sounds. So. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. How does this compare to using a dog? Oh, uh, look, and this job's a perfect example. There are termites in behind the, the door frame. The dogs have picked this area up as a live active termite area, so the knocker has missed this. A radar gun and a motion sensor help to pinpoint the problem. Now, the big blue line is telling us there's movement behind the wall. On the scale, how high is that? Yeah, look, that's pretty high for a cool day today. Buster finds the areas which may have been overlooked. On an average day, he'll make five home visits, sniffing, skirting boards, cupboards and carpet. We've been together for two years, and um, over that two-year period, there's had probably 15 to 20 jobs where I haven't located termites in a house, and Buster has. So, you know, that's basically 15 to 20 lawsuits or possible lawsuits I've, I've dodged um, because of Buster. Unlike other pest detectors, sniffer dogs can find termites hidden in floorboards underneath carpet and can sniff out the pests long before the damage becomes visible. This home in the country Victorian town of Horsham is riddled with termites. How long would these have been in the war? Uh, easily two years. So the dogs could have discovered these years ago when they yep. were first here? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Yep, yep, on their first entry into the house. Bed bugs are another pest, reportedly staging a worldwide resurgence. Common in backpacker friendly suburbs, they attach themselves to humans and are spread on public transport and planes. Cockroaches also increase in spring. A single German female can create 100,000 roaches after just one year and carry diseases like salmonella, typhoid, hepatitis and tuberculosis. Tony Jones is operations manager of Amalgamated Pest Control. And having them infesting your kitchen is uh, obviously opening yourself up to a real, a real problem medically. Spiders, bees and ants also thrive in warmer months. Um, ants and spiders are definitely um, quite bad in the southern and all eastern states actually. The best advice? Spring clean. Remove all the clutter and ensure you don't leave any food scraps around. Use a pest bait and arrange inspections. Reducing these wood piles in your yard at this time of the year is a very good idea. Also, there really is no better option than having your house inspected as a minimum every 12 months. It's an easy thing to forget, but do so at your own peril. And to put it into perspective, the damage bill caused by termites to Australian homes in the past five years is $3.9 billion.